we have got a new production ready open source a SaaS a starter kit. So this is a starter kit from a company called Midday. They've released it with an MIT license. You can use this starter kit to create your own SaaS that is production grade. So in fact, it uh, offers you one click deploy. I'm not sure how much one click it is, but you need to have a super base account. There are a bunch of other things that you need to have. But the primary thing is this is a next JS framework based application. It has got a lot of things that you would typically need for a good SaaS. It's got email templates, email delivery. You have got Sentry, which is for monitoring and you have got a bunch of other things. And uh, the main objective here is that if you want to start with SaaS, building SaaS, already there are a lot of people who are selling applications like this, like Shipfast, where you can go buy this for $200 and then implement it in your own way so that you have a SaaS application, but this is completely free. Uh, but you might be wondering, why am I doing it? There are two reasons. One is that I want to enable people to create SaaS application, which is quite my passion these days or passion or obsession. But the other reason is uh, this is a repo that comes with something called cursor rules. But before we see anything about cursor rule, I want to give you a quick run through of how to set this up locally. I'm not going to go over any API or any other setting. Just literally how to run this locally. Very simple. The first thing that you need to have is you need to have a bun a package manager. I guess this is a package manager. My JavaScript skills are quite bad. So if this is not a package manager, let me know. But if this is a package manager, anyways, based on your operating system, Mac, Windows, in my case, I've got Mac. Copy this command, go to your terminal and just put this and run. Once you do this thing for the very first time, you have successfully got a bun installed. But after you have got bun installed in my case, which I have already done after you have got a bun installed, the next thing that you have to do is you have to go to this particular repo and then copy the very first command. The very first command tries to get this for you. So which is to get the repo. So in my case, I've already got the repo, but I'm going to just force it just to show you how it is. So the direct directory is not empty. So I'm forcing it so that it clones this repo into my local computer. Once it clones the repo into my local computer, then I can go ahead and then do the pip install equivalent of the JavaScript world with bun, which is the bun I, which is going to install all the dependencies using bun. Once you have that, then is the main important thing. You have to do a bunch of setup. So the setup, like, for example, if I take you to apps and uh, app inside, and I take you to environment example. So you can see here, you need a super base uh, URL, super base on on key and a bunch of other things like recent for email, sentry and anything else that you want to use. Like for example, if you happen to do open AI integration into your application, this is probably where you would have to mention the open AI base URL and open AI token. So this is something that you should configure. And once you, this is an example file. Uh, so they have given the code for you to configure this into your local machine. So like this copy and then make it an environment file. But before that, uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to open this inside cursor. So cursor is something that we have been seeing quite a while now. So this cursor is an IDE, which is AI powered helps us develop a lot of things. So the way I'm going to open is just do cursor space dot. Once I do cursor space dot, as you can see here, it has already opened the main repo. So I've got the main repo here, which has got uh, all the things. One important thing is uh, if you do not get to open this in cursor, the simplest thing that you can do is a command shift P and then type cursor or shell command. So it will install the shell command cursor into your terminal, the shell. So that will help you do this thing. So this is the easiest way to open this. Once you have opened it in cursor, the very important thing that I want to show you is to actually read the cursor rules. Cursor rule, if you're not familiar, is uh, this system that helps cursor to understand what is the boundaries, what is a set of rules, what is a guardrail that it should uh, live by or uh, adhere by. So if you have cursor file, again, if you have not enabled it, go to cursor settings, cursor settings, and inside that you technically have a rules for AI option, but whenever you have a cursor file, then it is going to override it. So it's very important for you to enable this in this case. And once you have this enabled, okay, then you can basically now go modify the application based on whatever you want. So I'm going to show you simply how to run it. A modification 
again depending upon your usage you can do all the modification that you want but i'm going to just show you how to run this and like i said before uh, the many main important thing is you need to have uh, this environment file available but before that what do we need to have we need to have everything installed so bun i that is going to install all the dependencies and as you can see here it has installed the dependencies now all you have to do is you have to just go bun dev i'm not sure if it will run it might throw an error yes exactly it has thrown an error because we don't have the environment variable that we need so let's try to run only the bun web part so i'm going to just run the bun web part so bun web once i run this you can see that it is running in localhost 3001 and when i open localhost 3001 i've got this thing so it says production ready code and an open source a starter kit based on midday and it it is it has got uh, all these partnerships like cal.com recent and all these things integrated within itself for you to run it so any change that you want to make you just have to go make in this code so where is this code if you were to find out this code is uh, inside page dot tsx so inside app and uh, you have got page dot tsx so any change that you want to make here you can select this you can select here and then say um, make changes to this file so that the theme looks with like uh, the matrix screen let's see if it can make the change just run this i wanted i could have gone ahead with command k because i'm just literally making one uh, file change but um, but yeah somehow i went with chat a lot of people are asking me why always chat so the somehow strangely the chat uh, one looks quite familiar for me so it's made changes it is also looking for a component called matrix rain I'm not sure if it will work. Okay, we need to create that. Okay, cool. First, let's save this and then go ahead and apply this. This technically should add another file here, which uh, which should which should show you the new file, which in this case is matrix. Uh, where is the 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 effect matrix rain? So it is supposed to add a new component. But I'm not sure if it added the new component anywhere. So where are we trying to get it from? We are trying to get it from the matrix range, import matrix range from components matrix range. So if you see here components, it should ideally create this file here. For some reason, it is not created. I'm going to go ahead and then click apply one more time, continue. And when I do that, if it doesn't create, I'm going to create that file inside this. Again, if you if you are a front end developer, probably you you wouldn't even have to watch this. You might already know all these things but in this case because i'm not a front-end developer even like the tiniest bit of this is a, a lot a lot of learning for me that's why for people like me i'm just quickly showing this so i've saved this and uh, i've saved this here some error it seems to be Control k is there Okay, there is a CTX, CTX. Why do we have CTX error? And fix chart, so it's a apply, apply to the entire file, except I hope it has fixed all the errors. I want to save it, go back here. It has failed to comply, compile. So import matrix rain. I think it should be like um, matrix rain matrix rain cool oh yeah we got it so production ready code i'm going to refresh this uh, you 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 might have seen like how much i struggle for basic things but that's the beauty of this this helps me build things that i have not built before still not launched a paid SaaS yet but I've been building a lot of tools uh, makes me excited and with uh, the new open source starter kit it's going to be quite exciting if you are uh, in the same boat where you want to build a SaaS. I hope this was helpful to you in how much I struggle to fix certain errors. See you in another video. Happy prompting.